Well, we have with us uh, a unique uh, collaboration team with us uh, of uh, Vidhu Vinod Chopra and Abhijat Joshi. They are, um, they, the movie is coming up, uh, Wazir. They are not merely the writers of the movie, they have also edited the movie as well. And uh, Mr. Chopra has written the uh, lyrics of one of the songs as well. <laughs> so, a uh, huge pleasure to have you guys back on uh, Borrowing Ama, first of all. And um, a very interesting looking, looking project somehow, mm -hmm. but uh, um, it has been delayed as well. It was it was supposed to release earlier maybe and it yeah. has been slightly delayed. Yeah. Uh, do you agree with that? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's the same thing that happened with PK. Mm -hmm. PK was to release in June mm -hmm. and we delayed it by six months mm -hmm. because we were not happy with what we were seeing in the edit room and we finally were happy and we released PK. See, for me, it's not about the dates. Mm -hmm. Actually, all these films that say, oh, we Diwali karna hai, aur abhi humko ladna hai, aur abhi humko Eid karna hai. I find it very stupid. I think a film should be made. And when you are happy with the film, it should be released. Mm. So, we are happy with the film now, and we are going to release it on 8 Jan. And if I wasn't happy, I'd delay it further. Okay, but but uh, you benefited a lot uh, from from the from the Christmas for for both three years as well as PK in terms of. I'll tell you one thing. If this one is releasing on eighth of Jan, which is not supposed to be a great date, okay? Mm. But I'll tell you, after this film is released, that will become a great date. They say, "Arey, yar, eighth January, the Kamal ki date hai, so in the itne ho gaya business." Right. The point is, I didn't benefit from the date. I mm. benefited from a better film. I believe if you make a good film and you release it anytime, it'll do well. Maybe holidays will do a little better. I mean, when we released China, there was no holidays. We did 320 crores in China. Absolutely. So, mm. because it's a good film. Mm. So, I am a believer not of dates and not of saying, yeah, I believe a good film will run whenever you release it. So, that's why I did Before we come to Wazir, in fact, uh, there's one statement that you had made. Uh, and I think Hyderabad uh, for the for the PK uh, promotions that are taking place last year. Right. You said that uh, you guys consciously don't have uh, a dead scene in your movie, right. like a guy going in a in a lift or something like that. Right. That 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 thing has stuck in my mind because okay. many a times we see certain movies and the dead scenes they really take it take away from the entire. Um, now. You just saw 15 minutes of the film. Yeah. Was there anything dead there? No, no. I consciously <laughs> was noticing actually that is there any. <laughs> I was conscious of so it was like very very fast. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it now, started in 15 minutes or over. Now, is it something that 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 you that you maybe uh, learned somewhere, read somewhere, or is it something that has come consciously to you orga organically while 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 this no, working? Over a period of time, I'm very glad that you remember that because that's mm. one of the principles that we are wedded to, mm. that there should not be any dead footage in a film, you know, because that is disrespecting the audience's mm. time. They are giving you a, their undivided attention, they are coming to a darkened theatre and subjecting themselves to this film, you know. Mm. And I think any f scene which does not have laughter, crying or drama mm. cannot stay in the film. Mm. The rest of the scenes are what they call the link scenes, sure. they are the scenes of exposition. And as these scenes uh, continue to mount up, I think mm. the film begins to die under the weight of these scenes. So over a period of time we discovered that whatever we are cutting out later in the edit is these kinds of scenes. So why write them in the first pa uh, place, you know. So Billy Wilder had said something very nice. He said that plot points should be like concealed wiring. You know, your plot should be concealed like wiring. It should not be visible. Wow. Wow. So we try to do that. Uh, so that that's what keeps the story galloping. You guys have written the, uh, it's, it's your original story idea, you guys have done the screenplay. Um, I think dialogue have, have been written by some, someone else as well. Uh, now, but there is this perception that uh, that what exactly is Bijoy and Ambiya doing because uh, we had also read somewhere that uh, apparently Mr. Hirani as well has suggested some, some minor changes in the climax. That's what uh, it, it, it appeared somewhere in fact. So, uh, somewhere do you feel that uh, considering that you guys have a lot of inputs. Does it, in a way, hamper no, his we are writers. directorial We are writers, we are not directors. Mm. Bijoy Nambiar is the director of the film. When, right. If you go to the set and if you went to the set or anybody went on the set, mm. none of us was on the set. Mm. He is the boss. Mm. He directs the film. But that's also true for Raju. Mm. We write for Raju, Raju directs. Mm. And uh, there is no, no I have never been on the set of Wazir. Mm. Not even once. 
Actually, Mr. Director has shot sequences that were not in the script. That's why we were in, in an earlier show when I said, this guy shot. <laughs> that, that was a, the, you know. Uh, no. So, it's, you know, first and foremost, I have to tell you what cinema for us is. Mm. Akira Kurosawa said, and we believe that, he said, and I, I showed it to you in my Jee. study table. Jee. He Jee. says, it's filmmaking is a cooperative workforce based on individual human talent. I am talented, he's talented. We don't have the talent of Bijoy. Right. Bijoy is the director. That's what his talent is. Mm. All the shots that you saw in this 15 minutes are taken by Bijoy. We were not in the best. It's slow motion thing. I think that he, he it, everything really specializes in that. Yeah. He's the director. So this, uh, excuse the usage of the word, but this nonsensical thing of, oh, so what has he done? What has he done? Comes from insecurity, mediocrity and the absolute rubbishness of Hindi cinema and, and what goes on. <laughs> this is nonsense of the highest order. In this office, we are blessed that we are beyond that nonsense. Right. We work in a way, Raj Kumar Hirani used to be Raju. Now is such a successful director. How much I scream at him? You say, you are the successful hai. अब ये कितना सक्सेसफुल आदमी है इसका तो ये गलत है तो हम बोलते हैं गलत है ठीक है तो हम वावा करते हैं हमारे साथ भी ऐसा आई थिंक ही एंजॉयज इट अ सबस्टैंडर्ड सीन व्हेन यू गिव इट टू हिम अ लिटिल मोर देन द गुड सीन बिकॉज़ ही गेट्स द चांस टू से दैट यू नो व्हाट का ये क्या बी ग्रेड थर्ड क्लास पीस ऑफ शिट यू ब्रॉट ऑन माय टेबल ये तो सोचा ही नहीं था कभी तू ऐसा लेके आएगा आई थिंक ही एंजॉयज दैट सो सो यू नो इट्स वेरी क्रूशियल नॉट टू टेक your self too seriously yeah. you know understand that everything is for the film yeah. every single decision every day every moment every idea is at the service of the film mm -hmm. and whoever comes up with an idea is welcome and every input if it is good it's stupid to reject it you know mm. Now, uh, Mr. Chopra, you have that, I think, this unique distinction that you've had the, the biggest commercial successes uh, in Hindi films ever in the last five years. Uh, both Three Idiots as well as after the PK just uh, got into the top once again. But at the same time, when we see the promos of, of Wazir, it looks very, very interesting, honestly. The, the, the latest promo that, that, that has come out, personally, I, I would say that it's something which is very, very engaging. Uh, it's, it absolutely holds your attention, the, the entire the, the paradigm looks very, very interesting. Uh, but in terms of the commercial elements, um, the sort of discussions that, that Mr. Bachchan and, and Farhan, they're, they're having, it seems slightly on the metaphysical level as well. It, it seems slightly abstract as well. Maybe you I have to tell you something Jee. very interesting. Jee. When Munna Bhai MBBS was made, Jee. people told me, people saw the ready film. Ronnie Screwwala of UTV was one of them. Many people saw the ready film, the film that I had mixed. Right. Nobody bought that film. They said, this film is not going to be able to understand it. My South Indian distributor had bought the film for 11 lakhs. Had already paid me 5. Right, you, you, you mentioned that. He refused to take delivery. He said, it's not going to be comedy. He said, this is not going to be able to understand it. I released it and I did 1 crore 40 lakh or something. Okay? Right. So, what I believe of Wazir also, which is what I believed of PK also, which is what I believed of Lager also. If you make a good film, people will come and see it, it will do business. What is Three Idiots all about? What are we saying? We are saying Chase excellent success will follow. Mm -hmm. How am I so successful? Have I made a shit film? Ask yourself. Maybe by mistake, you may not like one of the movies I make, but I have not done rubbish. Mm -hmm. There is no item song in my film because you need item. Right. There is no foreign location suddenly because you need I have done nothing. I have made not a single compromise. Which I am very grateful to God. Ke he, here you are, you haven't made a compromise and I am successful. Hota nahi hai sa. Bilkul, absolutely. So, Wazir is exactly the same. Okay, why the title Wazir? It's a chess film mm -hmm. uh, at some level. It's a thriller. Mm -hmm. It needed to promise all the fun that the film has, you know. The film has a lot of there are scenes of great, great scenes of friendship, camaraderie. So, to call it something like 64 Squares, which is the title of the English film, right. would do a disservice. You know, it would look like a film which was more uh, of from the art house or something. Which is, this is a spectacular film, which is a non-stop kind of a thriller, you know. So, then Vinod, I think, came up with the idea. Yeah. That, 
let's call it Vazir. And Vazir, his working title was what? Two. Yes, two. See, also Vazir is the only in the in chess. The little bit of the, the film is not about chess, but Vazir can do anything. He can walk straight. He can go left. He can go right. And Neil Nitin Mukesh does exactly that in the film. Right. Uh, Neil is having the negative shades to him. Yes, yes. You saw the trailer. Yeah, yes. He's he's, a, he's excellent that time. I think he's still still to get his due. Mm. Uh, he's he's brilliant. Farhan uh, Akhtar, the the footage that I saw just now, and I think he's a phenomenal actor. Even the way he's just mitti dal rahe, and he's yeah, yeah. unable to just hold it in his hands. I think he's a brilliant actor, Sama. Um, how's the experience of of working with Farhan? And uh, as I think you've said in some of the interview that this is his first action film. You know, I didn't it's realize it's his first action film. Yeah. I didn't know that. Right. When I saw the film, when I finished the film, mm. his PR person said, "Both are job." First time action किया मैंने कहा यार पागल है क्या बकवास कर सर मैं seriously बोल रहा हूँ मैंने कहा क्या बोल रहे हो तुम I couldn't believe that it's his first action film and you've seen 15 minutes of the film the way he's holding the gun the way you can't believe it's the first time he's doing it hmm. and the kid is incredible I mean if I ever want to direct a film in India which I find very hard to tell myself I'm going to do it Farhan Akhtar will be an actor I'd like to work with it's just outstanding. You saw it, so no, I'm not saying it. No, he, he's always, in fact, I think he's he's a director, he's a producer. But I, I personally, his, his, his best talent is his acting. But this action that he has done, mm. it kind of works. See, there is a inner anger sitting in him. Right. He's a quiet guy. He's bang opposite to him. I'm happy. I'm just constantly all over the place. He's very reserved, and he's very quiet. Right. When he saw the film, he came up. He had tears in his eyes. He hugged me. And that was something because right. he'd seen it thrice, and I said, yeah. you know, finally, as an editor, yeah. I said, I've arrived. Huge relief. Yeah. Yes. Because right. from after Paranda, this is a film I'm editing. I've right. not. I mean, I've helped, right. but never edited a film fully like this. And even Abhijit Joshi has got the credit for it. Yes. Yes. He was right. He was really right. Well, right. <laughs> which is amazing. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Now, considering that. Uh, in a way what what we saw at least the footage uh, terrorism is something which is like a burning burning topic right now as well and i think that somewhat it's not about that okay the film is about their friendship the film is about the unusual friendship of somebody like rakesh maria and vishwanath anand mm. and i find that fascinating that two people who are so opposite to each other become friends right. and it's really about friendship right. it's about danish ali and and panditom karnath her being friends right And, and Mr. Bachchan is, is is not having his. He's he's in he's in a wheelchair. He doesn't have legs. He doesn't, he doesn't have legs. But he. Yeah. So was there yeah. any reference point for that? Was there any? Did you have a reference? Point? No, not really. To some extent, we there is a character in Forrest Gump who was who was uh, who didn't have legs. Right, right, right. right yes, right. but there was no reference point. And and uh, Bachchan has never done uh, a role like that ever before. Mm. Um, in fact, in the f- first few drafts of the story, he was not on the wheelchair. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, Actually, it might be the twenty or the thirtieth draft of the sc- right. screenplay where we decided that this character doesn't work if he is fully able. That's how he was put on. Actually, the, uh, we wrote picture. this film in English called Fifth Move for four years, and then in Hindi when we decided to adapt it for another two two and a half years. I think somewhere uh, in in the, after two in three years he began. Yes. Like, yeah. Great. What sort of release as plan are you having, sir? On 8th of Jan, it will be all over the world. It will be there for everybody. I want people to begin their new year with a good film. <laughs> I'm saying all this. Let them all this tamasha of dates and everything. Let it all get over. Right. And that's why we've said that this new year make your best move. What we are saying tongue in cheek is also see the best movie. <laughs> so begin a new year on a bang. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, okay, so we are having this uh, short sort of quiz. Uh, with with you and Abhijah, since you guys have worked so closely together, so we have this quiz that at how well do you know each other? So we'll ask you a few questions about Abhijah, and we'll ask Abhijah a few Ma, questions. I will about know him. nothing. <laughs> Simple <laughs> questions. Then you're done. Simple you ask questions. Me his birthday, I don't know. <laughs> Simple questions. He will know. I have to tell you this. I forgot Raju Irani's birthday, <laughs> but I wished his mother the next day. And the her his mother said that you have forgotten my memory, but Raju has forgotten. I said, what did Raju forget? He said, when was the birthday? I said, when was the birthday? <laughs> 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 इसका चार दिन पहले क्योंकि मैं भूल गया था 
तो मुझे मेरे लोगों ने कहा बिजाज बर्थडे टूडे तो डिजिटल वर्ड शेल भी विषय मैंने कहा यार मैं ना ट्विटर करता ना फिर तो इट लुक्स वेरी चीप के यार मैं अपने किसी दोस्त को अपने भाई को ट्विटर पे बोल रहा हूँ हैप्पी बर्थडे <laughs> मैंने कहा यार फोन लगा दो उसका फोन लगा दिया मैंने और उन्होंने गा भी दिया हैप्पी बर्थडे ये एंड में कहता सर इस साल दो बर्थडे होंगे ये मेरा आज है नहीं <laughs> मुझे लगे रहो मुन्ना भाई दैट वॉज को रिटर्न बाई मिस्टर चोपड़ा बंदे में आने 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 चार आने। आने चार ओके ओके मैंने बहुत लेजेंडरी म्यूजिक म्यूजिक डायरेक्टर इन 1942 लव स्टोरी आरडी सो ऑफ ऐसा मेरे को आपको भी आपको भी वे वॉज अभिजात जोशी बॉन्ड अहमदाबाद ना ओके नेम अभिजात ब्रदर हु फेमस प्ले राइट ये तो मुझे पता है सौम्या हाउ मेनी फिल्म फेयर अवार्ड है पूरे ऑफिस में जाइए ढूंढ लीजिए हर दीवार पे अगर एक आपको नजर आ जाए ना तो आप हमको जिस तरीके से आपने पीके के लिए किया तो भी भी रियली ये वगैरह तो सब बेकार है याद नहीं ये ऐसा सवाल ही क्या पूछना जी <laughs> खरीद लो जितने चाहिए उतने लगा दो अभिजात इज अ प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश एट विच यूनिवर्सिटी इन यूएसए वो तो मालूम है मैंने को भैया ओहायो में करेक्ट ओहायो वेस्ट सो आई थिंक टेक्निकली एक्चुअली अभी जाते हैं बिकॉज ही हेज आंसर ऑल दूर यू डिड नॉट टेक वन क्वेश्चन टेक्निकली आई थिंक यस और सो वी हैव आई थिंक दिस दिस वन यू डिड वो क्वेश्चन ही बेकार था वो किसको याद रहेगा यार तू मेरे को मेरे पूछ ले मुझे ये इज पार्टिसिपेटेड विद फुल जील्स ऑफ इलाहा टू नहीं ऐसा नहीं ओके सो वी हैव a brief rapid fire with you yeah. fun stuff I, i'm i'm sure that you'll enjoy munna bhai 3 or your next directorial venture which film will happen first munna bhai 3 i think you know actually let me tell you uh, yeah munna bhai one thing you'd like to change about your following films if you had a chance if they would if you'd like to change one one thing about any of your films parinda would you like to change something about parinda i you sometimes talk about the song between jackie and ha 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 i like that okay bilkul wo jo wo chhat pe gaya tha na ji thoda cheap tha wo uh 942 a love story you sometimes mention the second half second half thoda out of control ho gaya tha yeah generally right the edit it was like a club yeah a club nothing i think a club is perfect All right, a Bollywood actor other than Sanjay Dutt, whose biopic deserves to be made. ये तो यार इसका जवाब तो मैं क्या दे सकता हूँ? पहले तो मुझे ज़्यादा लोगों की जान पहचान ही नहीं है कौन क्या किया है और दूसरा ये मेरा ये I can't I Guru Dutt Guru Dutt of course I mean right. Right. In that thing of course Guru Dutt. Okay sir, uh, if you have to react in one word to the following, uh, critics in India, they need to learn more. Okay. Uh, award functions. Rubbish. Craze for box office numbers. Stupid. ऑप्शन <laughs> 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 and overrated film according to you ye to tum mujhe i know nothing main dekhta hi nahi hu film and overrated director according to you wo bhi main dekhta okay so that's what i said to you main dekhta hi nahi hu to mujhe kaise pata okay mr bachchan's best work is in wazir aur eklavya i think i i'm also saying this uh, bachchan thinks eklavya 
Let me also say that to you. जी, जी. But I think Wazir. I think the last scene he did in Wazir. Actually, few scenes he's done in Wazir is excelled. He's Are gone beyond. It's phenomenal that that the sort of hunger that he's still there. Piku. अरे उसने एक सीन किया यार मैं तेरे को. Even Shamita Abhi was outstanding. The movie maybe. मैंने फिल्म नहीं देखी वो लेकिन इस फिल्म में उसने एक सीन किया. दो actually even that earlier scene. वो सिर्फ दो चार सीन ऐसे किए हैं. The sort of effort that he. And he's re. You know he sees the scene. He he re-dubs, he re-shoots with me. When I told him the other day, sir, last day shoot ka kata, yaar, tere saal, last day day shoot hota hi nahi hai, to don't come. <laughs> 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 mein Fantastic. You know, he rehearsed Wazir for eight days in his house. Eight must days must he must sat with the crew must reading must the dialogue. Can you believe Amitabh Bachchan did that? He's an amazing must guy. Must must So, uh, Mr. Joshi, I think uh, Mr. Chopra has done amazingly well. <laughs> as candid as it gets, so you have to match that. Okay. <laughs> An idea that changed your life. I'm gonna start working with him. A director other than Rajkumar Hirani with whom you'd like to collaborate with? Mr. Vidhu or Chopra? A cult film whose remake you'd like to script? None. One thing you'd like to change about the film industry today? There might be one or two that I would not want to be changed. Okay. You're getting as the <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm thinking. Come on, Zach. Okay. But Most things need to change. Yeah. Any specific thing that you like to say? That that's how we change. Kar do, bhaiya. Yeah. Okay. The picture is either for English. Weirdest demand made to you as a writer? Any weird demands have been made to you as a writer? No. Luckily, no. Okay. Yeah. First thing that comes to your mind. First thing that comes to your mind when I say PK. Courage. Three idiots. Conviction. Amir Khan. Real. Uh, Chetan Bhagat. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> Past or pass? Pass. Okay. Rate Farhan as an actor. How, how will you rate Farhan as an actor or one of? You know, he's actors? fabulous. One, of, one, one to ten. How, how, how do you rate him? In this one? Yeah. Uh, nine. Any Amir Khan as, as an actor? Nine. 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 Okay. Yeah. Um, writer. I would second that. Yeah, right. Like right, writer. I have not seen uh, all, all. You need to see more, more work to right. judge that. You know. Okay. So, so you haven't yeah, seen Dil Chahta. I have not seen all his films. Yeah. Acha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dil Chahta was exceptional. I have seen yeah. that. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Right. Dil Chahta was really a very, very wonderful. Great. As a director. Again, I'll have to say I I love Lakshya and Dil Chahta. So yes, yeah. he has made more or less three, four, four films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don, Don, Don two, um, Lakshya. Dil Chata. Dil Chata was yeah. the best. Dil Chata was for me. Yeah. So how will you rate him? I have not seen Don. I have not seen. Very high. Dil Chata. Very high. Sincere. You know, completely real, uh, genuine effort. Sir, one to ten. How much? Yeah. <laughs> one to ten. So not give. Can you? Because I have to see all. From one to ten, how much will you rate him? Because I have seen two films. I say eight. Yeah. Eight. But okay. as a director, rate him as what? Uh, he's asking as a director on the basis well, of those two films. Yeah. Okay. As a producer, yeah. producer, yeah. Producer, I, you know, everybody who I talk to, they say that he he is a kind of a pioneer in uh, so many things. So what I've heard of him is outstanding. You know. Right. So. Okay. I think. Okay. 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 Okay.
beat PK beat um, Parinda beat 42. We've had a great time making these movies. No, no, absolutely. absolutely. So, so really speaking, when you ask us, the point is, okay, yes, we are saying this, but it's possible that we have some other idea and we will make that one. Wazir was a fifth move, called a fifth move. Dustin Hoffman was working with us then. And what has happened to it? Yeah. We are making it with Amitabh Bachchan and Farhan Akhtar in Hindi called Wazir. Did we ever think that no. when we were working for Warner Brothers? Never. Absolutely. Life, Absolutely. we don't plan life as to, we have no five-year plans. And I can say that for him, me and Raju Hirani. We don't have five-year plans. In the next five years, we have 500 crores, 600 crores, we have 10,000 crores. We have a good cut. Great. And in terms of uh, PK, uh, you've had a phenomenal run in, in, in China. Uh, but the way we saw with Three Idiots, uh, you had a staggered release in other, other countries as well. So, uh, will we see that, see that happening with PK as well? With Wazir. Okay. With Wazir as well, or with PK? Uh, with PK as well. Because PK, PK did, no? PK is already staggered. Now, Wazir is going. Wazir is also going to China. Okay. He'll go everywhere. See, finally, if you make a good film, which Wazir is, it'll go everywhere. It takes us back to three idiots. You chase excellence, yeah. success with follow. Aap apna show acha banayenge, to log hit karke dekhenge. Or rubbish banayenge, to nahi dekhenge. Absolutely. Now, why you told me before this, or some show of yours got big hits? Not because you were there or other. It must have been a good show, no? Mm. Somebody is watching it on, if it's good, if it's right. educative, it's entertaining, he'll watch or she'll watch. If it's rubbish, he'll change the whatever channel or whatever they change. Digitally. Absolutely, absolutely. So, if you do absolutely. good work, I think it's seen. People will see. So, but but if we have guests like you, it becomes it goes no, level. no, it no. But the point is really, finally, it is how prepared you are, mm -hmm. what you're doing in your show, how sensibly you're talking. What is what are we talking about? Is it see? The point is that I believe in cinema, like in anything else, mm -hmm. you're good, successful for. No, absolutely. You chase excellence absolutely. in anything. In your studies, you chase excellence, success will follow. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. It's very easy. So, for us, that is the mantra and that's what we do. So, we have no deadlines, no re Eid release, no Diwali release, nothing happening this Christmas. 8th of Jan, which is like a busy day. So, you know, come and see the film. It's uh, a good I'm looking one. forward to that. <laughs> looking forward to that, sir. So, uh, pleasure having you on Borderline Ama and looking yeah. forward to Wazir for show and uh, all you. the future videos. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. That's all we have from Bollywood Angama. Keep on watching. Angama, go ahead.